Hi everybody, David here with the Hotglue team, and today I'm going to talk to you about how you can build integrations for your product with Hotglue. So here we have a demo application that offers two integrations, HubSpot and Salesforce, to pull in contact information. We're going to go ahead and test out the HubSpot connector. Let's go ahead and click on HubSpot, and when we do, it'll launch a page allowing us to log in to HubSpot. In your case, it'll be your user logging into HubSpot. Here it says connecting Hotglue to HubSpot. You can customize this later to say connecting your app to HubSpot. Once the demo app recognizes that there's an active HubSpot connection, it'll start pulling in that contact data from HubSpot. In a few seconds, we'll see all that data loaded into the fields here. As you can see, we've successfully started to pull data from HubSpot. Now, if we click on this gear icon, it'll allow me to either relink or unlink the HubSpot connector. This is just if you need to connect a different HubSpot account or unlink the one you currently have. So let's go back and scroll through the data a little bit just to confirm we successfully linked our HubSpot account and pulled that contact information. Looks like we did, and that's what your end user's experience would be like if they were to use Hotglue to power their integrations. Let's now head over to the Hotglue admin panel where we'll walk through what it's like to configure all this. First of all, you can see here we have a sales CRM flow. Now in Hotglue, a flow is a type of data that you guys want to offer. So in this case, we're offering CRM integrations. What we're gonna go ahead and do is look into the sales CRM flow and show you how we configured it. So I'll click into sales CRM, and what we see here are a bunch of test jobs. Now these are jobs that we ran so that we could test, okay, is the data actually being pulled successfully? And things like this. If we then jump into the sources tab, we'll see Salesforce and HubSpot are set up here as connectors to pull data in, and targets will be MongoDB, which is actually powering the backend of that demo application we just looked at. So the next thing we're gonna look at is the Tenants tab. Now in the Tenants tab, you can see anyone who's made an active connection with any of the Hockley integrations we've offered. Here we have the user we just connected, and you can see there's a few successful jobs here. And if I click View as Tenant, we'll actually see the job that we ran um, inside of the sales CRM flow. So I click on view as tenant here, and then I can jump into the sales CRM flow. And then I see here that we have a successful job. This is the job that pulled those contacts into the demo application. Now, if we click into the job, we can see the job logs. Now, this is what you as an Hotglue admin user would be able to see for every job that ran. So you'll be able to see exactly what happened when the data was synced. Thank you so much for taking the time to check out our demo. If you'd like to learn more about Hotglue, you can check us out at hotglue.com or book a demo at hotglue.com slash demo. Or if you want to give us an email, we'll be happy to respond at hello at hotglue.xyz. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.